Hi, this is Obo1975, and today I want to talk to you about the jelly bean. This is this ship and this chicken, because uh, you don't mess with the jelly bean. Now, jelly bean is obviously my large PVE harvesting cutter. It costs over a billion credits. It's ridiculous, and it's slightly overpowered and stupid. I named it after that chicken because it's a large greedy hen who lives with Boo Boo, and you just don't mess with the jelly bean. Now. I've recently done some engineer grind and I've really upgraded the jelly bean. I've gone a bit nuts on it. And what I want to talk to you about is how much of an effect stacking shield boosters has. Because I've got the shields on this thing to over 5,000. They're 5,200 odd, which I think is bloody ridiculous. Um, now, I may be removing one of those shield boosters for a kill warrant because it's just silly. Um, but I put the 5,200 on it and then challenged them. Um, Sal's Anaconda to a 1v1 friendly duel um, just because I knew he wouldn't expect me to have 5,200 points of shields and that's not with prismatics um, I still might do the engineer grind for prismatics which just to me is crazy and I just want to know what you guys think do you think shields should get up to that sort of strength do you think you should be able to stack shield boosters to that extent I mean that is ridiculous um, also I wanted to ask you guys if any of you out there that have the cutter if you have the problem where it just drifts i mean it's like continental drift the arse just goes and it just takes a while uh, you have to slow right down before you can get her back under control um, i'm not talking about like when you're in combat because it doesn't matter you just fly assist off roll it and boost away but when you're going slow outside of a station that initial slow down you just you, your ass just catches it and it it like it skids out permanently. It would be a perfect drift race of this ship because it would just constantly just slide out of control. Um, but I just wanted to ask you guys um, if you still get that sort of drift with tier 5 dirty drives because I'm trying to convince myself not to drive all the way out there for tier 5 uh, dirty drives. I've only got tier 3 on this ship at the moment and it seems like a long way to take this ship for tier 5. If I can avoid it, I'm probably just going to stick with the tier threes. But let me know in the comments if you find it handles better with tier five day drives. And let me know if you feel that shield strength is just too easy to stack in this game, especially with ships like a lot of utility mounts, like the cutter, uh, like the FDL. Um, the Fertilance is one that can be really stacked up and shield tanked. And there we go. I'll show you, give you a look at the shield strength. And there we go. And I've not even like <laughs> had god rolls or re-rolled for god rolls I actually my best shield boosters have gone on my type 7 on my ass the ones that are like 65% increase um, but let me know in the comments if you think shield stacking in this game is too much and also let me know in the comments if you think I should go out of my way to get those tier 5 dirty drives and that's all for this video thank you very much for watching